A 16 year old girl nicknamed the Flying Squirrel is ready to capture hearts and perhaps gold in the upcoming Olympic Games. Chris Jansen recently spoke with gymnast Gabby Douglas, and she joins us live to talk about the girl with the megawatt smile and talent to match. Hi, Chris. Hello, Benita. Great to talk to you. How are you? You too. And you're on your way to, uh, to London soon. I leave tomorrow, actually, and one of the bright stars is clearly going to be Gabby Douglas. I mean, she is unbelievable. Not only is she a great talent, and she got that name, the Flying Squirrel, because she does these amazing moves off the uneven bars. She flies so high that uh, Marta Caroli, the team coordinator, gave her that nickname. But she just also has this effervescent personality. She has this amazing megawatt smile. She's got that it factor, I think, that really really defines what a star is you know really only a few athletes can emerge from the olympics kind of these international superstars i think for both her talent and her personality gabby douglas could be one of those few you know chris i know you know jeff blatnick from having worked here you've met him and he and i were talking recently that tv news loves a backstory sometimes it's not only yeah. the talent but the backstory as well and she comes with that as well yeah, I mean, obviously, Jeff was a cancer survivor, uh, somebody that we, we all admire very much. But, you know, Gabby's been through a lot as well. When she was just uh, nine years old, her dad went off to Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, he did come back safely, but during that time, you know, she admits that she would be thinking about, is he going to come back alive? And then her parents separated. They had been a very close-knit family, which was an, a deep emotional blow for her. And then when she was 14, she made really an extraordinary decision, and that was that she was going to move 1,200 miles away from home, from Virginia Beach, a nice sunny climate, to really the middle of Iowa, to uh, train with an acclaimed coach. It has paid off. Now, believe me, she immediately started doing uh, tricks at, at a level that she had never done before. Uh, she really has suddenly peaked at just the right time. And her gymnastics are unbelievable. And she is going to be going against Jordan Weaver, a name a lot of other people know. This mm -hmm. could be one of the great matchups of all time in gymnastics. I know our time just ended, but Chris, we can't let you go. You know, for those who've been watching News Channel 13 for years, you know that Chris was a, a co worker here and dear friend. And Paul Cayano wants to make sure I say hi to you. Um, just give hi, us a Paul. Hi. Oh my gosh, hi. <laughs> How's the weather there? The weather is gorgeous. His kids are great. Everybody's sending their love uh, your way. Just give Give us a little uh, flavor of what you're going to be covering when you're over in London. So we're going to be keeping an eye out for you. Well, I'll be, I've done profiles on three of the top gymnasts. I'm going to be going out with the sailing team as soon as I land on Saturday morning. Uh, there's a terrific swimmer, Missy Franklin, who could be another of the breakout stars there. And then I'll just be, you know, news of the day. I'll be uh, going for nightly news. So it's going to be a lot of fun. It always is. And, uh, you know, there's some great American talent. So I'm really looking forward to it. Including those who are going to be covering the events. Chris, it's great to see you. Yeah. Safe travels. And uh, we'll talk when you, you get too. back. Chris uh, Jansing reporting uh, for us this noontime. Good to see her.